Hey guys, it's Dr. Mona Gohara. I'm a board certified dermatologist practicing in New Haven, Connecticut. Welcome to another episode of Dear Derm, where we're reporting from my house in quarantine. Here to help me talk about the acne that you may be getting from those masks, the hyperpigmentation on the skin, or even scars, is my good friend and fellow board certified dermatologist, Dr. Melissa Levine. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Melissa Levine. I'm a board certified dermatologist in New York City, and I'm the founder and owner of a dermatology practice called Ontier Dermatology in the Union Square Flatiron District in Manhattan. We wanted to talk about how we know that these masks, particularly the more occlusive or the tighter ones, can really affect our skin. Some of the things I've been seeing are acne or maskne, as it's been called, hyperpigmentation. Um, what have you been seeing, Dr. Levine? Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of, you know, bruising, which then, you know, heals with hyperpigmentation. Um, a lot of contact dermatitis or like eczema, dry patches. Sometimes people get a flare of, you know, their rosacea or perioral dermatitis. I even seen like erosions where your skin is breaking down yeah. um, just from folks who have to wear, you know, the N95 masks um, with the goggles, um, sweating and just that maceration of just that rubbing. We're here to kind of help guide you on how to best care for your skin. I've been kind of telling patients that they need to do everything possible to keep their skincare routine simple and gentle. Um, so there's like a gentle element to it and then there's like a restorative element to it. Or is that what you're telling your patients? What other tips are you saying? So gentle cleansing, you must moisturize, even a thicker, you know, barrier cream, like, you know, Vaseline Petrolatum. I really like CeraVe healing ointment or something that's a little bit thicker on the areas that tend to um, rub um, on, on top of the ears there as well. And then, you know, that's it, keeping it simple. I like La Roche-Posay's hydrating cleanser. Wash your face with that. Pick the moisturizer that you like. Grab your Vaseline for, you know, the bridge of the nose and behind your ears and then along the jawline there and if you are wearing an N95 mask that hugs right here on your chin that's another area um, and then the the cheekbones if you have really great high cheekbones unfortunately the mask there you know these rubber bands can make it so that you start to develop discoloration here um, as well definitely I've, I've noticed that there's actually I've been telling my patients at the same spots that people forget to put on sunscreen that's where they should be putting on so like I try to like double message it that's where they should be putting on their like extra emollient and um, barrier repair creams because you know the ears, the nose, the you know here under the chin. I think that that is really um, those are like the forgotten spots and those are the ones that are getting very very irritated. I'm 100% with you with the gentle cleansers. My favorite is obviously Dove. I love Dove gentle cleansers. I love um, Vaseline. I mean, I, I just feel like it's like you know if anyone's seen my big fat Greek wedding and they put Windex on everything, I put Vaseline on everything. I tend to shy away from kind of the skin brightening, you know, ingredients because that can be very irritating. Like we were talking about, you know, doing a vitamin A, a retinol, a retinoid or skin brightening agents. They can irritate the skin. So right now it's all about protecting and, and kind of restoring that barrier and, and protecting that. So I would say if you're having acne under your mask um, and it is, you're gonna to have to wear a mask repeatedly for a while, which all of us are, but particularly the N95 mask. I would recommend, um, instead of kind of making the skin a little bit more sensitive with the vitamin A derivative, spot treatment with the benzoyl peroxide product, 2.5% um, over the counter, they're everywhere, they're easy to get, um, and or a little tiny dab of cortisone. I mean, not slathering it, but just a little teeny, just dab right on the area to decrease some of the inflammation, particularly if they are deeper. What do you think, Dr. Levine? I love that. Um, I love benzoyl peroxide. If you have a sensitivity to benzoyl peroxide, I really like azelaic acid. There's a lot of over-the-counter options for that. I like, you know, The Ordinary has one. 
I think um, Glytone has one. So I like azelaic acid because it's an anti-inflammatory. I love the cortisone. That's like what dermatologists actually do. Um, when you come in with a big cyst, we inject it with cortisone. You can get an over-the-counter cortisone. Just make sure it's not like cortisone with an antibiotic. We don't want that to go foreign because that can cause irritation. Um, and then the other thing you can do if you do those things is that nowadays telemedicine and teledermatology and these virtual visits have actually really, I don't know, you're probably seeing this Mona, but kind of opened up access to patients who otherwise wasn't, weren't able to see a dermatologist. Um, and it's, it's actually quite remarkable that what we're seeing with technology and um, a lot of insurance companies are now paying totally for telemedicine services. So um, if you're not getting better, then you can see a dermatologist. That really is the gold standard. I mean, that is, <laughs> is like, you know, figuring out, going to see the person who understands your skin the best. Or to find their so thank you for bringing that up. We know this skin better than benzoyl peroxide does. Yes, we do. Wearing masks is essential, but so is taking care of your skin because um, that's our barrier between us and what's happening in the outside world. So to the extent that you can keep it gentle and keep it basic, hopefully some of the products we recommended today. Thank you so much, Dr. Levine, for joining us and for taking time out of your busy day to help educate us about masks and um, what's happening right now. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. And thank you for joining us for another great episode of Dear Derm. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>